Well, first I think we must understand the background that Indian MPs have woefully inadequate support systems for preparing for parliament uh, in comparison to other democracies like the US or the UK where offices and staff are provided um, by the parliament itself. Uh, we, we have very meager facilities. So we have to depend on various um, um, other sources. I'm fortunate I have my own staff. Uh, they do research on the internet, but I do also depend upon organizations like PRS, which have uh, a very good track record of uh, preparing white papers and position papers on various issues that come up in parliament. And I think such resources are very critical for us to strengthen parliamentary democracy because the vast majorities of, majority of MPs uh, are desperately in need of such support. PRS routinely sends out uh, position papers and briefs, uh, which I think uh, now an increasing number of MPs refer to routinely. But apart from that, on occasion I have asked for special briefings, for example, on uh, India's trade negotiations. Uh, recently, there has been a debate on uh, MPs salaries and uh, a lot of the data that were provided to the committee itself, which I have referred to in public debate, was prepared by PRS. So it has been very useful. Well, I think PRS is on the right trajectory actually because uh, as of today, we routinely receive brief position papers and briefings on uh, a large number of bills in every session, uh, alerts um, and, and different viewpoints. So that's very good. I think perhaps uh, PRS can reach out even more to MPs and offer them specific preparation on specific issues and not, not, not necessarily just on uh, parliamentary debates. But MPs often have to take public positions, um, such as on television or in media. And I think that could be a useful help to MPs.